everyone. Welcome to our Minuteman Moment, an Airman's Podcast. I'm Sergeant Rules, and I'll be hosting this week's episode. Today, we have with us Ms. Emily Holmes, the 189th Airlift Wing Director of Psychological Health. Welcome, Emily, and thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Good. Uh, glad you're here. Um, so, as we all know, next month we're going to be um, talking about suicide prevention and awareness as well as our Invisible Wounds Initiative. So I was hoping today we could talk a bit little about some of the resources you have, programs, things like that for our airmen and their families. Okay, so I did wanna just kinda of talk about the um, in, in, about Invisible Wounds. Um, the Invisible Wounds Initiative is supposed to, the idea is to engage airmen, guardians, um, family, family members and care providers as well as leadership to improve our perception of invisible wounds and just kind of remove those barriers to care. So what is an invisible wound? It's a cognitive, emotional, or behavioral behavioral condition that can be associated with trauma or serious adverse life events. So um, it could be major depressive disorder. It could be something like uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury. In a personal setting, uh, airmen may find that they have more um, conflict in their relationships and difficulty building trust with others. So it might manifest in those types of ways. Professionally, it could be that they um, may fail to complete missions, um, tasks on time, um, can struggle to build positive workplace relationships, um, might compromise the safety of their fellow service members. It's not always easy to tell the difference between behaviors slightly out of the norm and um, what might, what might be the signs of a mental health condition. There are a few things to look out for, and that could be like trouble sleeping, sensitivity to light and sound, chronic pain, poor self-care, fatigue, feeling anxious, headaches, irritability, frustration, anger, flashbacks, um, trouble with memory or attention, uh, avoidance or detachment. So uh, with the Invisible Wounds Program, um, is there any type of resources or programs available for them to utilize? I'm glad you asked. Um, so the resources available to you, uh, there's me, I'm the DPH, of, which is basically, I'm your wing social worker. I'm a good resource if to provide short-term, non-medical, solution-focused counseling. If it's something that you need a higher level of care or if it's something you just want some resources community-based resources I will be happy to assist with that so where do you think people can go to find um, the other resources like uh, maybe military one source or any of the other uh, military crisis line things like that um, aside from this podcast here and um, well I'm working with PA to put stuff in uh, onto our social media accounts um, so next month is suicide prevention month so we'll be putting out contact information, resources, and more for you to be able to see. Okay, very good. Um, as far as suicide prevention and awareness goes and the Invisible Wounds Initiative, with the movement out of Afghanistan, um, people who have served over there or who have known people who served over there are probably having a few mixed emotions right now. Uh, what kind of advice would you offer them to help them cope or move forward with what's going on around them. Well, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. So it's important to be on the lookout for different red flags or things that are not normal for you. Um, changes in behavior like isolation, angry outbursts, increased alcohol use, or having trouble sleeping. Um, it's, it's really important to reach out for support if you notice that you're struggling with these things. It is okay to seek help. Things, things come up that you think could think this was resolved years ago or this wasn't even a thing and now you know it could have all different complex emotions regard around this all right emily well thank you for joining us this is great information um i think you're a great resource and if they're you're not the perfect fit for them it's so great that y you could point them in the right mm -hmm. direction so um i hope that there's a lot of people who if they're having these types of problems um would be willing to step out of their box and come to see you. We are Mission Ready Airmen, providing premier training to the C-130 and cyber enterprises, capitalizing on partnerships to support the state and defend the nation. Our vision is to be a diverse family of airmen, dedicated, adaptive, 
and empowered to lead.